Thank you, Sheena. The Bruins' chase for the Cup continues tomorrow with Game 3 in St. Louis. The team back out on the ice today, but some notables were missing, including Patrice Bergeron. He is, however, expected to play tomorrow night. For more on tomorrow's game and some lineup changes, let's go to Iowa Sports reporters Ruthie Polinski and Maury Hirsch-Gordon out in St. Louis. Welcome back to the Enterprise Center in St. Louis, Missouri. Maury, both teams took the ice inside that building today for practice. And tomorrow, game three, one of those teams needs to take a 2-1 series lead. And obviously, the Bruins are hoping it's them. Yeah, the Bruins were really working on that top power play line today, Ruthie, in practice. Despite Patrice Bergeron missing practice today due to maintenance, the power play still seems to be at the top of the list for Bruce Cassidy and company. They talked about the keys to the game for what will make a game three win for Boston. The way we play, you know, we need to be skating, skating fast, moving the puck up north and making plays that way. I think that's, you know, when we are at our best, uh, definitely didn't do that as well as we could have in the game too. So that's something we want to fix tomorrow and hopefully it'll work out for us. I mean, I think if that's the tail in hockey pretty much every night, there's the odd game will, won't go your way when the other team's opportunistic. But if you have the puck most of the night, you got good players, I think you're going to win. And, you know, so I think both teams are after the same thing. We've got to do a better job winning our races to pucks. I don't think we supported it very well the other night in the neutral zone. So as a result, we were stretched out. We, we never really got our attack on consistently at times, uh, but not enough compared to the first game. And that's what we're going to try to correct. All right, Ruthie, we just heard from the Boston Bruins. In the month of May, they were 8-1 and one in the postseason. So it felt like during that eight-game winning streak until game two's loss, it felt like every, every time they were going to take the ice, they were going to get a win. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case for game two, but it seems like they're going to be back on track for game three. The Bruins and Blues will have morning skate ahead of game three tomorrow night. It's an 8 o'clock Eastern time start. In St. Louis, for Maury Hirschgorn, and I'm Ruthie Polinski, Eyewitness News. Thanks, guys, and be sure to stick with Eyewitness News and Sports for all of your Stanley Cup final coverage as the Bruins' chase for the Cup continues. We'll have live reports, highlights, and post-game reaction after every game. And don't forget, on game nights, join us for our digital pregame show. Yanni, Ruthie, and Maury will have all the pregame action and analysis at 7 each game night on the WPRI 12 News app and on WPRI.com.